Don't be neglecting mechanics, silly boy. So we've got the velocity of a particle is 2t squared minus 4t plus 1 meters per second. The initial displacement is 4. Find the value of s. So you guys need to remember this. To go from displacement to velocity to acceleration, you differentiation. Then to go the other way, you integration. Makes sense. Velocity is the rate of change of displacement. That's why you're differentiating. So if I want to go from v to s, I need to integrate. So s is add 1 to the power t cubed, 2 divided by the new power, 2 thirds. Add 1 to the power b t squared, minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. Now here, you know, we could think of it as t to the power of 0 if you want. But you add 1 to the power, you're introducing t to the constant. Uh, to the, yeah, is a constant, plus c. Now in the question they said s0 is 4, that's just the way I like to write things. That's just saying the initial displacement when t is 0. Now when t is 0, all of these terms will just end up disappearing. So you're left with s being 4, and that's your c. Yeah, c is 4. So my answer, I'm not going to write it all again, Mike. For an easy 4 marks, can you believe how generous mechanics is? And that's part A. Really, that's just my line of working for four marks, mate. Find the acceleration when t is four. So remember, to find the acceleration from velocity, we differentiate. So a is dv by dt. Bring down the power, four, knock one off the power. And then minus four t just becomes minus four. And that constant of one just disappears. Now, when we sub in, what did they want at four? We got four times four, 16 minus four. We got 12 meters per second squared. And that one was two marks. Four, two, easy dive.